this is the fibular bone and it, this is the lateral bone of the leg. Now how to determine which side it is, whether it is the right side fibular bone or the left side fibular bone is very simple. The landmark for the identification of fibula is this thing. This is known as the lateral mariolus. And if the lateral mariolus is on the lateral side facing the lateral side away from the chest cavity, on the left side is the left side fibula bone. And if it is facing the lateral side from the right side, then it is the right side fibula bone. The bone, this one, is that if we look on our anatomical position, is that the lateral mariolus will be facing the lateral side if we place it on the right side. So this fibula is basically the right side fibula bone. Now we will see that the fibula bone, it consists of, again, the upper end, a shaft, and the lower or the distal end. This is the anatomical position, how to hold it. Now the upper end, this is the upper end, as you can see, this rounded head, the one, this is known as the apex of the fibula, where it is covered with the styloid process. Then below the apex, this one, this is known as the head of the fibula, and below the head, this one, this is known as the neck of the fibula. That was all for the upper end of the fibula. Now coming to the shaft of the fibula, we know that always the shafts, they consist of three borders and three surfaces. Same as the case with this one, first studying about the border. The one, this border is the long, just starting from the neck of the fibula, this is known as the anterior border of the fibula. One on the medial side is known as the medial, um, one on the medial side is known as the medial border and one on the lateral side is known as the lateral border. Now the surface is the one that is present between the anterior border and the medial border. This is known as the medial surface. And the one from between the anterior surface and the lateral border, this is known as the lateral surface. And the long extended backward moving surface, this is long one, is known as the posterior surface of the tip. That was all for your shaft of the fibula. Now coming to the distal end. Distal end, you can see that there is a depression. This is known as the lateral meliores, which is the landmark point for the identification of fibula bone. And if this is on the lateral side, it will be from the very easy identify whether this is the right side bone or the left side bone. Here, this one, this is known as the lateral meriolus. And just medial to the lateral meriolus on the posterior side, you can see that there is a depression that is called as the articular face it here and just a below and behind articular faces you have the medial meli all this so that was all for the fit.